Hi there, friends. Getting back to how to eat fried worms, and we are moving into chapter. Have you guys ever learned how to read nom Roman numerals? It's pretty difficult because I never learned it, and I think I'm figuring it out. 15, 16, 17. Nope. 15, 16. We're reading 16. It's literally chapter 16 and then 17 on the same page or same whatever. The sixth worm. Billy gulped it triumphantly, serene, untroubled. By the door, Alan just glowered, glowered, glowered. His mind was racing. He's going to do it. He's going to win. What am I going to do? 50 whole dollars. Joe sat on an overturned pail, whistling, gazing carelessly about, sneaking a glance every now and then over at Billy. What had gone wrong? Why hadn't he cracked? Outside, Tom lurked sheepishly into the bushes behind the stone wall, peering at the barn. Chapter 17. The Seventh Worm. Billy ate it offhand, sideways, reading a comic book. Alan and Joe squatted glumly on the barn door, in the barn door, just watching him. And as Billy was daubing horseradish sauce on the last bite, Tom's head appeared in a corner of the grimy window, and he waved tentatively at Billy. Ignoring him, Billy gulped down the last bite, wiped his mouth, tucked his comic book underneath his arm, and walked out of the barn. Remarking over his shoulder, see you tomorrow, fellas. Chapter 18, The Eighth Worm. Man, it's getting easier and easier, isn't it? Where's Joe? Asked Billy, spreading mustard down the length of the entire fried worm. He wouldn't come, said Alan. He, it's just not fair putting that much mustard on. <laughs> Who says I can't put on as much as I like of whatever I like? And you know it. Why wouldn't he come? How should I know? Billy swooshed a bit of worm around and ketchup in the horseradish sauce. I know why he didn't come. Hmm. Yeah, you're so smart. Big deal. Alan couldn't get the $50 out of his head. What was his father going to say when he told him he'd bet $50 and lost? <sighs> he started gnawing away at his thumbnail. He wouldn't come because he knows I've won. He knows I could eat 20 worms if I had to. Yeah? Yeah, well, you ain't won yet. There's still seven to go. You act so big. Wait till you feel it in your stomach. You think you know everything. Yeah, you just wait and see. You just wait and see. <laughs> you think you scare me talking like that? Oh, fooey. He strolled right on past Alan out into the sunlight. Hi, said Tom, popping up from behind a barrel. <laughs> said Billy disdainfully and just walked right on. Chapter or 19, the ninth worm. <laughs> That's not a worm, yelled Billy. How can it be a worm? It's got to be at least two feet long. It's definitely a worm. It is over two feet long. And it's just like all the others. I rolled it in cornmeal and I fried it on up. He knew something was up. Otherwise, Joe would not have come back, slouched in the doorway, pretending to be gazing at the clouds. But Billy noticed he kept glancing at Alan and him. And Tom was peering through the window again. Something was definitely up. Look, said Alan, I'm going to cut it. You can see for yourself it's a worm. There, see? Come on, eat it up. We ain't got all day. Joe and me have got to go to Shoshan with his father. With his father. Billy poked at the huge worm with his fork. Something was definitely up. He ate the piece Alan cut. Looked at the rest of the worm carefully as he chewed. He ate another bite. Food. He'd forgotten to dip it in the horseradish sauce. Come on, come on, come on, said Alan. Yeah, said Joe. Eat up, Billy. We gotta go. I'll never be able to eat the whole thing, thought Billy. It choked me. It's just too much yuck at once. Half, he croaked. I'll eat half. This is some sort of a ringer. There's never been a worm this long, ever. Okay, said Alan. Then the bet's off. Suit yourself. Come on, Joe. He chickened out. Let's go. All right, all right, said Billy. Playing for time. The whole thing. You're going to make yourself sick, said Alan. He's just too anxious, thought Billy. What's going on? Leave him alone, said Joe. Let him eat it. It's his stomach. He's just trying to cover for Alan, thought Billy. He ate another bite, and then he began to scrape the cornmeal carefully off the worm with his knife. Hey, wh what, you, what you doing, said Alan. 
I think I'm gonna have a plain today. No cornmeal. That's not fair. You can't glue, screamed Billy all of a sudden. Glue? You glued two night crawlers together? You bunch of lousy cheats. Tom, Tom, look what they tried to do. Glue! Panting, Tom bent over his plate. You're right. Jeez. Alan kicked a pail, clattering against the wall. I told you it wouldn't work, he screamed at Joe. All right, so it didn't work. You couldn't think of anything better? That's cheating, said Billy. I ought to win right now. You cheated. Fifteen worms in fifteen days, yelled Joe. You ain't won yet, but you cheated. Yeah, so what? They argued and yelled, striding here and there about the barn, sprawling about the posts, flinging their arms, kicking walls, banging down on a pail or an orange crate and squeezing their heads between their hands. It doesn't make any difference, Joe yelled at Billy. It didn't work. You didn't fall for it. If you'd eaten the whole thing and then found out it was two worms glued together, then you could have claimed to win because Alan was cheating. Big mouth, shouted Alan from the horse stall where he was kicking the slats in. Who thought it? Not me. Who cares who thought it up, shouted Tom. It's still cheating. A pig looked in at the door and then wandered away. Joe ran out and stuck his head under the faucet by the chicken, or kitchen steps. A minute later, he came back dripping, yelling, That's not true! What's not true, said Billy, turning around from shouting at Alan. Whatever you said. Well, what did I say? It doesn't make any difference. You're a liar and a cheat, and so anything you say is not true. You're crazy. Even Hitler or Jack the Ripper sometimes said things that were not true. It's impossible to lie all the time. Behind them, Tom lay on his back and said, Ugh. Did you hear that? It's like an army helicopter flying overhead. It's going to get really loud. It's kind of funny because he flew by here just a little bit ago, too. You can't see him today in that one. Alan and Joe and Billy turned to look at him. What's the matter with you? Ugh. 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 Silence. A bird flew in and then out through a broken window. Well, said Billy. Yeah, I see what you mean. He and Alan and Joe sat down on the, on the orange crates. And after a while, Joe said, anyway, I was right. If Billy had eaten it, it would have been cheating. But he didn't, so it's not. So the bet's still on. The pig looking in at the door again. Pig's loose, said Alan. Look. Where, said Billy. Oh, boy, come on. We got to go catch the pig. He jumped up and the pig bolted. Wee! Yelled Billy, dashing out. Tom and Joe and Alan scrambled after him. <laughs> Chapter 10. 20. Chapter 20. 